2020 on schedule, coronavirus on schedule. There is something so sinister about this whole thing. I am hesitant to say anything today. That's the worst part about it. You can feel it. You can feel it. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You know, like this. They take down London Rail and Bryant, you know, what's his name? Uh, Alex Jones. And I'm, I'm not for or against them, but it's the principle of the thing. And we're, we're losing our constitutional rights. So anybody who violates what they call the, um, the elite or Silicon Valley, we're in trouble. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm hesitant to say anything today. That's the worst part about it. My doctor gave me the stats on coronavirus. I got attacked. I got attacked and said, stay in your lane. Don't you dare touch that. Then I talked to another friend who was a doctor and he said he got taken down off of YouTube and Twitter and all the things, you know, which I don't know much about. Even my friend Jim Rickards, he treads lightly on it. He calls them the elites. He doesn't name them. And the guys that name them get taken down. You will see the level of discomfort with ABC, with content creators, with what YouTube is doing. You know, a a ABC is saying, why are you letting anybody create content? They're becoming journalists. He says, no, we don't consider ourselves that. We consider ourselves a social media platform. So mainstream media is not happy about people like Brian Rose, who are sometimes getting more views than what they're getting. And that's not very comforting. I'll tell you why I'm in, why I'm walking the line and what I think is really going on. I think the coronavirus is to cover up this. I think the coronavirus is a cover up for the September 2019 crash of the repo market. And the average person talking, I'm talking to you right now, they don't know what the repo market is. They don't know the shadow banking system. They don't know commercial paper. They don't know any of that. Every big wave surfer knows that the biggest waves come in threes. So we just got number three. It came down in threes too, in March. Boom, boom, boom. So every surfer knows that. So on schedule came the first crash, 2000.com. So then here it goes back up again in 2008. So that's the second wave. So one, two, three waves. So they privatized the winnings, you know, the rich, and they socialized the losses. So when they bail it out, that means you and me, the peasants of the earth, we pay for it, but the rich get bailed out. 2020 on schedule, coronavirus, on schedule. I never thought they would shut down the whole freaking world economy. So what happened with Corona was not the virus, it's fear. They injected fear into all of us. That's the worst part they've ever done. I'm afraid to talk to people. You know, walking down my sidewalk and people will actually go across the street to avoid me. I have a lot of optimism in uh, people's abilities to think, people's ability to create, people's ability to innovate, and people's ability to come together and, uh, and eventually question things. I don't think you can push people around for too long. I don't think you can do that for too long. My concern is that people eventually forget how powerful they are. People eventually are convinced by the government or the powerful politicians or whoever's at the top to say, oh, we're special. We can make all the decisions for you because we're smarter than you. And then the majority ends up believing that nonsense. Once I was introduced to books, Robert, then I couldn't be controlled. Once I was once I was introduced to books and I said, wait a minute, you got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me it's like this easy to make a million bucks and you can be a decamillionaire, you can go out there and do this. And then I was free, if that makes sense. Then I was free. I became a free thinker. You know what it is. Free thinker, you know, free to choose. I bank on people cannot be bullied and pushed around for too long until they flip. Almost the most the most patient man in the world will flip if you push him for too long.